Welcome back guys, JDog here from Seacoast and today we're going to be going through how to add a currency to your Java server. And just for an example of what you can do, you can do forward slash pay and pay players different amounts very quickly and easily just like that. You can check your balance, you can check who's got the top balance, and you can even sell your items to the server. So first things first, we're going to need ourselves a Minecraft server. If you haven't got one yet, head on over to Seacoast.co where you can get yourself a server for as little as $2.50 a month. Once your server is up and running, we're going to be running Paper and the latest version as of now, which is 1.19.2. You will however be able to run this on a bucket or spigot independently, but I prefer Paper because it's not only more optimised uh, for servers, multiple players, but it also lets you add plugins for either spigot or bucket. So now let's get down to the plugins that we need for this. The first one's going to be Vault because it's an economy plugin that helps other plugins such as Essentials, which is going to be the one that we use to actually use the currency. You can download this for bucket or spigot, however if you are using Paper, I do prefer to use the bucket version version it works much better every time so for that we're just going to go ahead and download next up we're going to come to the essentials x page of course links will be in the description and you can just head over to downloads from downloads you're going to get all the other essential things today we're just going to be using just the core essentials plugin right here and i do suggest going over to the stable release rather than the development build so come over to the stable release and go ahead and hit download of course if you do want any of the other essential things you do have essentials chat spawn discord anti-build geo protect and xmpp However, we've got the two plugins that we require right here for the economy. Now, before we upload this to the server, let's just make sure that we stop our server first. And I'm going to be uploading them using FileZilla. Of course, use the way that you prefer, whether it be your FTP file access or going through with FileZilla. If you don't know how to use FileZilla, I'll have a video popping up now just showing you how to connect to your server. It's much quicker, easier, and it doesn't have any file size limits. So once connected up to your server, you're going to see the server files on the right hand side and of which you want to double click on the plugins. And that's going to enter your plugin folder. Of course, we don't have any yet, but we will be adding them. On the left-hand side, you're going to see the folders on your PC, so I've put these on my desktop. On my desktop, I can see that they're there. Of course, you might still have yours in your downloads folder, of which just go to downloads and you'll be able to find them there. So I'm going to highlight the two plugins that I want, so Essential X and Vault as well. Hold Control to highlight them both, and then drag them over to the right-hand side into your plugin directory of your server. There we go, it's all done, we've got a little message down there. So that's it, we can now close down FileZilla or whatever else you're using to upload your plugins. And to make it even easier, you can go Files, Plugin List, and find them from there to upload them easily. Once uploaded, we can simply start up our server and that's all we need to do in terms of configuring that. Now, before we get into the currency, I just want to point out a few extra things if we go to our config files and then you find the config.yml for Geyser. So that's going to be this one right here. You're going to find a section called sign control and enabled signs. Now, these signs right here are actually going to be another way to buy and sell. Your players can actually set up their own signs, which we're not going to go into much detail today, but they can set up their own signs to buy and sell rather than using it with the commands. To do that, you simply have to take the hashtag away. So let's say for instance you want a sign that's going to let them buy or sell what we're going to do is we're going to take the hashtag off of here we're going to take the hashtag off of here and then save the file once we save that and we start up the server that means that once they do use the buy or sell signs they're going to be able to buy and sell using the signs as well which is quite a nice way because people can simply click the board buy the items which the player has stocked but you will have to get them just to check out a tutorial for that so next up with the server all loaded up let's just go and log in and make sure everything's working so we've loaded up on the server first of all let's just do the plugins make sure they're actually installed correctly there we go essentials and vault however you're going to find that you're not going to be able to do the commands yet that's because you're not op or you haven't been given the command to use as a default player. So let's go make ourselves OP. If you don't know how to use a permission system, I'll have a little link coming up now with another video of how to set up your permissions for your players. And that means what commands they're able to use as a normal un-OP'd player. So to OP ourselves, I'm going to come over to the console and I'm just going to type OP and then my player name, press send. And as you can see, it's now made me a server operator. So let's just go back to the game. Now if I do forward slash pay, you're going to see that I'm going to be able to pay people. I can now do the balance command the cell command and you can filter through all the essentials command by typing in essentials then just going through everything i mean it does have a ton of stuff of course type in essentials help and it's going to give you all the other commands as well the main ones for currency of course are going to be pay you put in the player amount and then you put in how much you're going to pay them to check your balance you can do balance balance top or of course the abbreviated terms of bal top or forward slash bal for balance as you can see, I have no balance. This is how it works with Vault, however. Vault and Essentials or Vault and another economy plugin will make the economy and the API and everything for you. And again, if you did want to sell, it's a forward slash sell. You choose whether you want to sell certain blocks, what's in your hand, or the whole inventory. Another very cool thing is that you can actually set the worth of the block in-game. So you can do this by the config, but you can also do a forward slash set worth. And then you type in how much you want it to be. So let's say I wanted this to be $100. When they sell it to the server, we're going to press enter and that's going to be set to the worth. Now, if I do a sell, 
I do hand, you're going to see that I've made $100. Or just go to your config files on your server and you can go through the, all the IDs and change them all one by one for the items that they currently have listed or add new ones. And you can actually add new ones using this method as well, doing the in-game way. So if I do it and I set a worth to an item that isn't on the list, it will then set a worth to it and make it sellable for other players. Now there is a way of setting up a sign. I can't remember it. Something like buy the item, the amount and something like that. However, that's going to have to be for another tutorial. And again, if you're wondering why your players aren't able to use these commands, it's because you need to give them the permission nodes first using something like luck perms. So make sure you follow our tutorial and get that done also. So thanks for watching guys. If you are looking for a Minecraft server, head on over to seekhost.co where you can grab yourself a small, medium, large server or any server to suit you, including custom support, mod pack support for you when you're playing your Minecraft server. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.